It is 5.45, time for weather with meteorologist Shay Sorensen. Shay, I see a very nice picture behind you. Looks like we're having a... Uh, well, okay, this is a sunset from last night, Robbie. Don't get oh, it twisted. Okay, <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I, I just, yeah. I couldn't tell. Forgive me. <laughs> David sometimes wakes up in the morning to send a sunshot, uh, sunrise shot. So this is from last night. Beautiful. But this sunrise this morning actually looks pretty nice. We're just a little bit on the cloudy side, but there's definitely some colors out there. So send them my way. David Grinney sent in this great one from last night. Gorgeous shot of the sunset, as always. Thank you, David, for sending that in. Harris sent in this one from the Huachuca Mountains in uh, southwest Cochise County. Beautiful photo there. Gorgeous colors. Love it. Thank you, Harris. And then Velvet Reimer also sent in this great one. Love the colors in this one. All the greenery too. Arizona is so green right now because of all the recent rain. But of course, with all of that rainfall, we've had several inches in some spots. Flash flooding going to be a huge concern over the next few days. Doppler radar. We are waking up. Well, not so quiet. We've got a few storms passing through uh, northern Cochise County, including Wilcox. Eventually, Benson going to get some of this. Places like Vail and Corona Day Tucson also seeing some light to moderate rainfall. But let's go ahead and zoom in on northern Cochise County where the heaviest stuff is falling. Uh, not a whole lot of lightning at this point. There was earlier this morning, so that indicates that this is weakening as it makes its way westward, but definitely some moderate to heavy rainfall passing up and down the I-10 through Wilcox. And it looks like you could see another round of some moderate rainfall here in the next 10 to 30 minutes or so for Wilcox. Benson also going to see some heavy stuff here pretty soon, so just be sure to keep that in mind. Definitely seeing some wet roadways out there. Vale and Corona Day Tucson seeing some light to moderate rainfall, so Rita and Green Valley going to see some light stuff here in the next 10 15 minutes and also southern parts of the metro going to see some light showers too, including the airport and on the east side as well. So this is going to continue to make its way westward throughout the morning and then we're expecting better coverage as we head into the afternoon and evening all thanks to an area of low pressure over the next few days. That's going to help enhance our thunderstorm action, especially as we head towards tomorrow and even into early Saturday as well. So definitely getting pretty active. This is an idea of what we could pick up through the weekend. Lighter totals out to the east in Cochise County, maybe just a tenth of an inch, maybe a little bit more in western parts of Cochise County. Same thing for Tucson. We're not expecting several inches like we were uh, last weekend, but still any rainfall is just going to kind of increase that flash flooding threat. So please keep this in mind over the next few days. Could see uh, about a quarter of an inch to a half inch here in Tucson. Some higher totals possible for the Catalinas, but the bullseye spots definitely western parts of Pima County and central uh, south central Pima County too near Aravaca where we could pick up about a half inch to three quarters of an inch and that also includes parts of Santa Cruz County. So bullseye spots again western central uh, parts of Pima County and Santa Cruz County too. Flash flooding extreme for our storm threat over the next few days. This is from today through Saturday where we are expecting areas that will be dealing with flash flooding. So please always have an alternate route in place if you have to drive through low lying areas. Wind and dust also going to be uh, moderate just because any strong storms that develop could produce damaging wind and some blowing dust as well as well. And then for the hail threat, it's going to be low, but it's not impossible. So please stay weather aware over the next few days. Showers continue to make their way westward throughout the morning by 11 AM. A lot of us are on the dry side, but storms will begin to develop after about 1 PM. Pockets of heavy rain continue through 4 p.m., especially here in eastern Pima County and parts of Pinal and uh, Graham County. And then by 11 p.m., mainly light stuff, but some showers will carry over into the early morning hours, especially to the west near Ajo. And then for your Friday, we're expecting another round of showers, pockets of heavy rain. Some of these storms could be on the strong side, especially out towards Ajo in western Pima County by about 5 p.m. on Friday. But again, this timing could change around, especially if we stay active into early tomorrow morning. That's going to influence what happens happens tomorrow afternoon and evening, so stay tuned. For today's highs, mid to upper 90s, mid 90s for Corona Day 2 Sun and Vale with scattered storms in the forecast. To the south and east, same deal, but a little bit cooler, mainly in the mid to upper 80s and low 90s. Low in hundreds, though, out towards Ajo and Cells. Don't forget to enter into our Monsoon Master Contest. All you have to do is guess the rainfall total at the Tucson International Airport for this year's monsoon. Deadline to enter is September 15th, and if you get it right, one year of pest elimination service is coming your way. So so don't miss out on that. Looking ahead now, mid 90s for your Friday, Saturday and Sunday, about a 40 to 50 percent chance for storms through Saturday. And then our chance really goes down, especially on Monday. Can't remember the last time we didn't have a chance for rain uh, over the last few weeks, but it doesn't last long. Back to about a 20 percent chance next Tuesday and Wednesday.